the plan for today is to drive to the town of Kathlamet and launch the boat there and then motor around to Tenasilihi Island which is a part of the Julia Butler Hansen Wildlife Refuge for Columbia white-tailed deer. And there's a dike or a levee around the island that's six miles long. I plan to run that. I'm at the Ilakum and Slough Marina. A little disorganized still. This is the first time out since I got the new canvas and did a bunch of work on the boat. Part of the work on the boat was installing windshield wiper. So I really kind of hoped it would rain a little more. I know that's dumb. <laughs> but I um, need to test that. It's quite windy here. I'm at the dock at the island of the wildlife refuge. You can hear the wind whistling in the rigging, even if I don't have any rigging. The weather outside is frightful. But the little heater is so delightful. I guess as long as I've got nowhere to go, might as well let it blow, let it blow, let it blow. This is the Julia Butler Hansen Wildlife Refuge. This dock serves it. It's not much of a dock, but there was at least room for me to tie up. I spent a few minutes kind of waiting for the weather to calm down a little bit. It's still windy, but um, earlier it was quite a lot windier and I'm hoping that by the time I get done with my run that it'll be um, even calmer. I always joke that I've never really learned to travel light. Currently I've got my GPS tracking my location, the phone, the spot satellite messenger in case I get in trouble the camera water bottle so my coat my coat feels like it's got 10 pounds of rocks in it I'm running into the wind upwind sailing here always slower going 
this is a loop it's supposed to be six miles I'd like to do the whole thing I didn't start till 3 30 and my runs lately haven't been that strong and they've never been fast so I'll probably still stick with it I think it's late till 7 my only concern is getting done by dark that shouldn't be a problem at all then I gotta motor the boat back load it on the trailer and go home but all that stuff I can do in the dark if I need to This is the west side of the island. This is the Clifton Channel. There's an old fish hatchery over there. And the boat and the dock are down on the right just a little ways. Looks like they've been doing some brush clearing here. That's been sort of the theme on this hike in the prior one up there at Lewis and Clark State Park. This refuge is specifically for Columbia white-tailed deer. Looks like there's one up here, a couple up here maybe. I don't know if you can see in the video. I'm gonna keep moving towards them. Hopefully they'll get closer. There they go. This is the east side of the island. I thought there might be some views of the Columbia River Channel, and there may still be. I'm not very far into it, so I'll keep looking. These look like stinging nettles. Fortunately, they're not growing in the road, and they're short still. I don't know if they'd even sting at this point, but I'm not testing them. So the levee did run off to the east and along the Columbia River. This is the main shipping channel. I don't know if you can see there's a green buoy right straight ahead. And that little town in the, in the, in the water on, in the background is Kathlamet. That's where I launched the boat. You can see there's a little wind and some waves still, but well within reason. All along the slurry, there are signs like this one. So apparently the levee itself is the only accessible portion of this wildlife refuge. Which I guess, if you let folks in, it wouldn't be much of a refuge, would it? There's sea lion feeding out there past the ducks, out where there's a little bunch of seagulls. Occasionally see him flipping his head out of the water. And I don't know what these structures are for sure. They could be slice burning, you know, just getting rid of logs and stuff, but I suspect they're supposed to enhance wildlife habitat in some way. This is the slough along the north edge of the island. You can see that houseboat-like structure down there. I'm not exactly sure what it is. Looking at the maps, I thought that that was where a guy probably would access this island, but when I 
um, talked to them. I I'd emailed the wildlife refuge and asked them exactly where I was supposed to land. And they told me that place down there where the cattle barge is, where we did park, even though that's obviously kind of a marginal location. So I'm a little overdressed because I was afraid it was going to rain. So I have the raincoat on, have the fleece on, have the technical long shirt, sleeve shirt on, and a t-shirt. And I'm too warm, but they both zip so I can leave them open. I was just afraid that if there was a big rainstorm, I would get soaked and freeze. So I ended up being a little too warm. I'm turning the corner on the home stretch. And the weather has turned out to be pretty darn nice. I think the wind has died down. There are some benefits to being slower than molasses. Oh, I made it back. It took me two hours. Probably half an hour or more of that was video and photographs. But I finally made it back to the boat. And I was obviously wrong with my prior comment about the wind dying down. It must have just been a calm spot because it's clearly no calmer here. Boat's still rocking and rolling. You can see I've been using my Samsung Galaxy S21 phone and my GoPro 8 Black to video with. All right, time to go home. Well, it's about 6.30, it's getting towards sunset. And I'm ready to go. I'm going home.
This is the odd man out.